favorite part about living alone is it always sounds like somebody's in my house um, and I also never know when maintenance is going to come in because they keep saying they send me emails but they don't and they don't correct it so I am in constant fear that somebody's going to come into my house and I'm just going to die. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a look based on the asexual flag, which here it is. As you can see, it's black, gray, white, and purple. And yeah, I feel like um, the A is also one of those things in the community that is forgotten a lot. Um, don't know why, but it is. My eye is like bothering me right now. Also, before anyone says anything, my hair is damp still. Uh, it was hair washing day. Um, and I don't blow dry it and <laughs> the top of my hair is always like the last thing to dry so yeah all this is just this is all dry and this is still damp and it looks kind of greasy also my roots make my hair look greasy it's it's life it's just life but yeah if you want to see how I did this look just keep on watching hi so I already have one eye done I'm gonna do the other eye also yeah there's green on my face it's color corrector because my skin is still like screaming. I don't know why. Okay. I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk to put down as a base. I finally got a new one after like actual years of having the other one. Um, it got too little, so I could not use it anymore. So, why is my hairbrush right there? We're going to move that over there. And then I'm going in with the e.l.f. Mad for Matte Jewel Pop palette and I'm going to take the cream shade and set the NYX Jumbo Pencil. Then I'm going to go in with the original Mad for Matte palette and use these two shades as my transition color just with a fluffy blending brush. And then we're going to go back in with the e.l.f. Mad for Matte Jewel Pop and use that purple with my handy dandy e.l.f. Professional Eye Blending Brush. We're going to put this right where we just placed the transition color. The thing I have noticed with this palette is um, you really have to build up the shades and work on blending them. Uh, the purple is probably one of the better of the cool tone shades I've used. The blue that I used for the bi look was kind of a disaster. It just didn't blend well or anything. So, as you can see, this one is blending a lot better and is not really losing its pigmentation as I blend it. I do have to kind of build it up, but definitely not as bad as I had to with the blue. The blue, I would like dip in, I'd put it there, and then it would like completely disappear. So there's that. I'm going to take the brush we use for our transition color and just go over the edges. I still can't find my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, so I'm just going in with the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. And I'm going to cut my lid out. This isn't a bad concealer, it's just too dark for my skin. It might actually match me now that I have a tan. Um, but this used to be like my OG like go-to concealer. I think they have a lighter shade now too that I could try but I always forget to. Then I'm gonna go in with the purple shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette which I will tell you the name of in just a second. I'm gonna go in with a shader brush and go over that color. Okay, so that purple is royalty from ja the Jaclyn Hill palette. Then I'm gonna go in with Dare from ColourPop, which is this really glittery, like brighter purple. And I'm also gonna lay that down on top of it. I prime my face like I usually do, and I'm gonna speed through this part because I'm essentially using the same stuff that I've used in the past like three videos. I think I switched up a couple things. But I'll list the products down below. My technique hasn't changed, so.
Okay, I'm gonna do my lower lash line and stuff now. So I'm going in with this random essence eyeliner that's super old and I don't really like because it's kind of dried up. But I don't know where my usual one is, so this is gonna have to do. I'm gonna take an angle brush and the gray shade from the original Mad for Matte, so that one right there. And I'm just gonna kind of smudge that out. Next, I'm gonna do um, a pretty big wing, I think. Okay, so I put on some mascara and all that jazz. The only thing left to do is lips and highlight. I'm gonna highlight first using the Essence Eyeshadow in Snowflake. I heard the Taylor talk about this for like years and um, I could never find it and I guess they're bringing back their single shadows. That is really pretty. Gotten really into highlighting my nose, like the tip of my nose, which I've literally never done before because I am an oily, oily person and it usually just looks terrible because <laughs> It, I just look greasy, so I never highlight, but I'm feeling it. Okay, I'm gonna take my Jordana 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pen. So, it was a pen, it was in my lip drawer. So, okay, then I'm gonna take the NYX matte lipstick in Haze, which is this nice gray shade, which I am totally into. So yeah, here is the final look. I'm really happy um, with how the eyes turned out and the lips turned out. I think it looks like, it's like subtly flag inspired. Like you could wear this out and people probably wouldn't be like, ooh, that's like inspired by a flag or anything. And yeah, um, I think this is going to be my last flag inspired look. Um, since it is June 28th right now and I have lots of homework this weekend so I can't necessarily like film and edit and all that stuff um, but if you think I should do at least one more comment down below and also comment what flag because I don't know what flag I would do next um, so yeah with that being said feel free to subscribe I'm trying to make videos every week week and a half um, it all depends on my work schedule as well as my um, class schedule since I am taking summer classes uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good day whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.